So, g'day guys, how you going? Just uh, putting in a new trailer plug on the back of you. We went away on the weekend and uh, mucked the other one up. Uh, sorry I haven't put out any uh, bloody videos lately. Work's just been horrendous. Absolutely flat out. This is my busy time of the year with all the tourists and that starting to come. It's only just starting and uh, it's already really busy. Um, so, um, just haven't had the time to go out. Um, it's still pretty wet out, out the scrub. Uh, but we're planning a trip uh, this weekend. While well, we're thinking about going this weekend. Um, just depends on with work and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to go and chase some cherubin up the river. Uh, but it's bloody still wet out there, eh? Um, but uh, when it comes good, it should be really good because there's plenty of water around. But in the meantime, we went away for the long weekend, uh, uh, Anzac Day, long weekend. Uh, Renee and I and Elby down here um, went up to uh, Buccaneer Archipelago's, uh, up there the top end of uh, One Arm Point. Uh, went right out uh, all over the place, uh, checking out some new islands that we, um, we haven't been to before. Uh, had a pretty good time. The weather was absolutely beautiful. Uh, got a few fish, but not not as many as I bloody like. Got some good bloody oysters, some nice oysters. <laughs> uh, so we're pretty oystered up. We don't need any more of them for a while. Uh, got some new fish. New fish? Yeah. Got a coral trout and a few bits and pieces. Some nice brim. Uh, stuff like that. But, uh, oh, we caught up with a fella who's got a uh, camp out on one of the islands. I think it's on the island. No, it's actually on the mainland, eh? And uh, he's got a freshwater spring that feeds into his camp there. And anyway, he was there doing some work on it. And uh, uh, we were lucky enough to catch up with him and had a couple of beers with him. Uh, what's his name? Sparky's his name. Yeah, the Sparky's camp that we went to. Uh, we didn't camp there. But... Uh, camped on another island which we had the whole place to ourselves so it's really good to get away and um, and just have some Renee and myself time <laughs> but I managed to pick up the camera a couple of times and, uh, and do a bit of filming so uh, I'll roll those footage on and you can have suss it out that out got some good drone stuff there too well I like it I'm sure you guys will too <laughs> All right, I'll get this finished and uh, I'll play this uh, this footage over the, what well, it was three days I think we were there. And uh, you can check it out, see if you like it up there, I'm sure you will. Righto guys, catch up. Well here we go, on the new road. Bittersweet. Absolutely love the old dirt road. Pindan they call it. When it was wet, it was bloody wet. And when it was dry, it was dusty corrugated and rough as, but we loved it. Gonna miss it, actually. Oh well, you gotta move with the times, don't you? Well, here we are in the bush. Uh, we're heading out to the islands. Uh, we just had a bit of a historic time, Renee and myself. Um, the first time we've been up here when the road's been um, all bitumen. So we just got a little, oh shoot, we just got a little um, ways to go through the bush here and we got a beach launch in the boat and then we'll head off from there. Right what this bloke's trying to say is that we're dropping the pressures down about 10 psi all round. Uh, the sand gets quite boggy up here a bit. Get a little bit down. Out 
Uh, the tide's on its way in at the moment, so I don't need to get it right out too far. So I'll just drop it in the shallows there, and by the time I park the car up and get back again, she'll be floating. leaving this beautiful bay and we'll be back here in a couple of days as long as that wind holds out we've mapped out a bit of a plan on where we wanted to go but nothing was set in stone Stop for a swim. Absolutely beautiful in here. The temperature this time of year is just perfect, not too hot. The water's a little bit, I wouldn't say cold, but it's refreshing. Not like normal. It's very hot most of the time. But we've got no plan, we're just going to drive around and see where we get. Just waiting for that wind to drop down a bit of easterly at the moment. So. When we get around the corner there, it might be a bit how you going. It was a bit rough coming across. But uh, nothing the big uh, big girl couldn't handle. All right, I'm getting back in that water. It's pretty nice. Crystal clear. Don't know where we're going to camp yet. We'll just cruise around until we find somewhere good. coming off neeps so each day the tide will get slightly bigger which is perfect look at that crystal that is don't know if it's coming out on the camera or not. Swim time, that's for sure. We're in Alps, you go swim. Nose is getting ready here. Yeah. Oh, I know he's got sunscreen on. We had a bit of a storm come over a little while ago, but uh, that soon took off. Uh, things to watch here is bloody crocodiles. <laughs> so we'll just have a quick dip. Alright, all. A little bit of tide. Oh, is he? There's fish down there, I can see Look how crystal that is, eh? We've got the tide just going out. There are only small tides at the moment. You guys can see how clear that is down there. Colors are coming out. Some sort of tusky looking thing. Oh. 
Albs just won't give up fishing. He's sitting there watching those fishing lines. <laughs> but how good's this spot, eh? We just had a quick look around here, about half an hour. And we've got a full plate of hand-sized oysters off the rocks. Look at that. Check out the size of that. Decent, isn't they? Some good ones there. Alright, and we've got a plate full of fish fillets there. And we caught them just out there. Alp, you're not going to catch any fish if you go out there and iron them. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have a beer and watch the sunset go down. And, uh, Cook up a feed, have some oysters, and just relax. Oh, just had those oysters, they were awesome. I'm pretty sure you didn't want to sit there and watch us either, did you? <laughs> that would have been cruel. How's that sunset? Kimberly sunsets, eh? Don't get any better than that. What are you out to, Alps? Hey, what you doing? Swimmer's head. Feel that sunset, eh? Sick. We had this uh, storm came over uh, while we were out over there. And there was like a little willy willy in the sky, like like a little mini tornado. Uh, it didn't come down to the ocean, but it was starting to form. It was really wicked. Of course, I didn't get a photo of it. About me beer. Well, we had a ripper of a day. Fishing wasn't that great though, but we got a feed and some nice oysters as you've seen. Uh, how's this for a campsite? Absolutely beautiful. Oh well, we'll have a few beers and then uh, go exploring tomorrow. Have another fish, see what we can see. That was the moon going down first thing in the morning. Well, we had a bit of brekkie and waited for the tide to release us from our campsite. Uh, it was getting a little bit bigger tides today. Uh, you'll no doubt see the water fair racing. Don't know where we're going today. I think we're going to go maybe over towards Cone Bay today and have a look around. Sheltered in another different bay, we came around the corner, so a little bit easterly at the moment. So it's going to drop out shortly, and the tide's racing. So just sitting in here, waiting for the tide to slow down a little bit, and then we'll go on our way around the corner and see what's around there. So we're just having a fish in this little mangroves in here. Got all the mozzie calls going, and buddy sandflies are vicious. 
Let's uh, see if we can pick up a jack or something hunting in here. Uh, it was a really nice night last night. Nice and cool. Pretty good. Got a caddy. Oh, he's a feisty looking one. Oh, it's a shark. It's a little reef tip, black tip. Oh, yeah. Elby's favourite. Oh, oh. Sharks, Elks. Get these trevallies everywhere up here. They, they hang around in big packs, absolute annoy you. You chuck a lure in there and they just go mad for it. Uh, you can play with them all day. It's pretty cool, eh? Uh, so far, fishing. Um, yeah, not much. Reasonable size of coral trout, sharks, all that sort of stuff. Nothing to film or do anything with. This is pretty specky though. So we've still got pretty strong easterlies. So we can't get to where we want to go just yet. So we're just going to hang out here. About 12, I think they said it's going to calm down, but we'll see. Probably another hour away from high tide. So that tide's still fairly ripping. But we're out of the wind here, so this is good. Well, we just pulled up here. Gonna deep fry some oysters and uh, eat that cold trout that we caught. It's not a big one, but it's big enough for me and Ren anyway. Uh, we're sharing this beach here with the resident croc. He's got his slide just over there. He's been sitting up there on the beach there. And so he's in here somewhere. Out getting a feed, I suppose. And pandanus up the back there. And he's probably, if you had to dig around, there's probably some fresh water up in there somewhere. We're just uh, still waiting for this wind. It's starting to die down a bit now. I want to go over that other side over there. Bit of a fire on the beach. Can't go wrong, eh? Have to be getting about beer o'clock too, I reckon. What are you reckon, Elves? Beer o'clock. Making up a batter for those uh, oysters. Got the heat last night was awesome. Fresh off the rocks with a bit of lemon and pepper. Beautiful. Temperature's just awesome, not hot at all. Water's nice and refreshing. Not as the best fishing at the moment. Bloody hard to set the anchor when the tide's ripping. <laughs> so we'll wait for everything to slow down and go and give it another crack. While lunch was cooking, I thought I'd put the drone up, give you a look around, see where we are. Pretty bloody specky.
pulled up to this island. And we've come across all this junk. Check it out. Wheelbarrow. Looks like someone had a camp here one day. They might have had it on stilts or something. Look at all this shit. We later found out that old mate knew about all the rubbish here and he was um, uh, getting it cleaned up shortly. So that was good to hear. Stainless steel. Unless you had it on stilts, which they probably did. That's the only thing I can think of. Right, looks like shit. Decent barbie plate. I reckon they had it on stilts, right? Got the post, see the post there? Yeah, that's why I reckon it was on stilts. One stage. Yeah, so there's one there. There you go, that was incredible. Okay. No, I don't think so. So it probably would have looked cool back in the day. What's this island called? Bane Cove. Bane Cove. Bane Coat. Bane Coat Island. Yeah. Looks like it stays fairly deep water just out there even when the tide drops out. Some mainland right over there. Australia! Gotta get passport. You don't wanna get out dog. We found out later on those boys there were going to be a barrow farm, but they were out too far in the in the rush of the tide, and they kept getting mucked up all the time. So they've left it. Well, just up the track here, we heard about a camp here. Um, it was Sparky's camp. Um, we didn't know at the time that he was going to actually be there. So we got to meet him, had a couple beers, and uh, had a look around his um, camp there. Pretty cool. We don't, we don't go jump in there because we actually draw water out of there for drinking. drinking is ah, water. So, um, How good is this? Fresh, fresh water spring. Set up over there, but it's not, it's not working. It's like yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. If it wasn't going to blow up, I'd definitely come and give you a hand. But apparently the wind's coming up. Well, it was good to catch up with those boys. Uh, we had to make a run for it, get back to camp before that bloody wind blew up. Well, we did pretty well going across there. Um, made it back before the wind and got set up camp just as the bloody sun was going down. How good is that, eh? Well, I suppose you guess what we had for tea. Uh, a bit of fish and oysters and a couple of beers. It's time for bed. We will buggered. Morning all. Another beautiful morning in the Kimberley. Just out on the reef having a bit of a faucet around before the tide comes in. The sun's nearly coming up. Gonna head home today. Bit of a drive ahead of us and we got the wind picking up quite strong today too so we need to get back before that picks up it'll be easterly 
So we'll hover up our bum as we're going back, so that'll be not so bad. All right, well, I'm gonna have a squeeze around here and see what I can find. And then the tide's on its way in now. Nice oysters over here. Those beers are in. Another one there. Beauties. Another one there. Yeah, starve around here. Suppose you mob are all ready for some oysters, eh? <laughs> hey, check out these corals. Absolutely awesome. I zoomed right up on them. They, they look bizarre. Alien, you know. Tide's rolling in. It's coming in quite quick. See if we can catch a fish for Brecky. Haven't actually been doing that flash, actually. I suppose it's all sort of new area. Talking to a bloke yesterday, he reckons uh, not that much out here. A lot of areas which are just barren deserts, which is unusual. I think it'll be teeming with fish. Check out this guy, guys. He's a beauty. beach a little ways from where we camped last night and uh, just got a nice fan sized brim and a diamond back sea mullet absolutely awesome eat them eating if you haven't tried them definitely give them a go that's actually a little one uh, that's that's a good size brim and that'll be breakfast with a couple of oysters on this beach how good is it I'll stick the drone up, um, check out where we are. Uh, we were camped just around the corner there and we just pulled into this little bit here um, to have a swim and have breakfast and have a bit of a fish. And then we were making our way back to where the car is. We're gonna go around the western side of uh, Sunday Island, have a look around there.
How was that? How's the colour of the bloody water? Awesome, isn't it? We pulled into this little bay just to show you, you know, that power of the water. This is the tide coming in. Wicked. Beautiful little bay here for a swim. Crystal clear water. Some top spots around here, that's for sure. Well, it was a pretty cool trip on the way back. Not too rough. Uh, it's time to put the bloody boat on the trailer and head back to Broomtown. Oh, there we go. Used about 90 litres of fuel all up. And I'll find out later on how many naughty cool miles we did. Fair off, yeah. She runs good on the juice it, that old girl. Uh, Renee just uh, thought she was filming the everything, us coming out of here, but Anyway, you've seen me pick up this thing out of the water before anyway, haven't you? Well, I've really enjoyed that trip. It's good. Don't think I need any oysters for a while. <laughs> right, I will get this thing packed up and got about 200 k's to get home. At least we don't have to bash across the dirt anymore. She's all bitchman. Well, except for this track. Rennie came up with another bloody good idea. He said, oh, how about we go and have some lunch at Signet Bay? I thought that was a good idea. Good wedding, so we'll yeah. go on the back way through to Signet Bay here. Well, we decided to come to Signet Bay, have some lunch, and swim in the pool. How's that for a year? Pretty good. If you tee it up with the guys here, um, they'll launch your boat for you um, with the tractor and pick you up out of the water as well. Thought that was pretty good for a small fee. go on a pearl tour, cruise around. You can go on a great tides tour too and take you out all that water we just went through. Pretty cool.
don't think it's that expensive to stay here. We've got like a caravan park and you can uh, bush, like a bush caravan parky type thing. And then they got all like little units and shit you can buy. One power ball. <laughs> Go out on the tours in that one. Check out the donks on the back of it. The yammies. <laughs> what saw is that? Let's hit the road. Well guys, that's all we've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed that. That was our Anzac Day uh, long weekend. Thanks diggers, good on you. Um, if you like that, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell. You'll be notified of the next mission. All right, until next time, I think we're going chirping. That sounds good. All right, thanks very much for watching guys. See you up on the next one. See you all.